going to paint a hummingbird in this demonstration. I absolutely love them. I think they're beautiful creatures, very difficult to photograph. Before I start, if I could, I'll talk you through as I'm doing the demonstration, but these wings move so fast. If you sit and look at hummingbirds, to be honest, you very rarely see that outline in real life. You may see the head and the body, but they move so fast. So I'm going to leave parts of this painting out to the viewer's imagination to give that representation of movement and life in my subject. If you look at the photograph, you might have the impression that the eye is black. It's actually not. It's a little bit of orange and brown. I avoid black, actually. Even if the eye does look black in a photograph, I don't use it because that kills the life in the bird. I want some energy there. I like putting a dot of orange in these eyes, so we'll just get a puddle of this is quinacridone burnt scarlet. I'm just getting that there to start with. And I like to wet the colours of my palette so that they're ready to work with. We'll just take a bit of that cadmium orange because that will work very well for light if I need it. We don't know whether I do or not yet. Look at the size of the eye. It's a tiny one. It doesn't need to be huge. And there is a little highlight. So I'd go in quite small to start with around the highlight. Why? If I don't put that highlight in first, I'm actually going to forget it's there. So that's this little tiny starting point. You can keep changing the shape while it's wet. You can make it bigger. Um, at this point, you can't make it any smaller, but just a little bit of dark here. I could stay with the brown, but I think I'm actually going to move to a little bit of pink. So I've got some opera pink here. And I'm going to add it to that brown, whoops, and just make that a different colour. There we go. It's more of a violet now. And we're going to bring the ring around here in these tiny little definition marks, just to make that work. Um, and for this, because it's very detailed, I'm also going to be putting my glasses on. Right. I'm going to blur this colour and let some of the colour from the eye run into that section and this section. I want a very soft interpretation. Now I want to go on top of the eye with the colour here. I like the idea of that yellow stripe, so I think I might actually do that. I might just add that. I've got some beautiful cadmium yellow here. And with my rigger, I'm actually just going to go on the top of it very gently. I'm going to leave gaps of paper where the light is hitting these feathers. The yellow can run into the pink too. I'm going to bring some pink down here. We'll just drop a little bit more pink, very delicate. Bring that in here. I think for this, I'm going to go a little bit different. I'm going to go a little bit of blue on here. I think that could be rather interesting. Maybe with a touch of green so that it's different. And this is a phthalo green. Ooh, that's a beautiful colour. Again, rigor work and leave some of these little white spaces and replicate what you're seeing. I guess what we're really doing now is concentrating as artists and bringing this subject slowly to life. Look at the detail on these little feathers here. Isn't that cute? I mean, that's really pretty. Perfect for using my opera pink. So we're just going to drop a few little petal, uh, petals. I'm thinking of flowers. I can see some to the side. We're dropping a few little feathers in. They are like petals and they radiate around the throat of this little bird beautifully. Let me just bring those in. We're actually moving down towards this white section. I'm just going to blur my pink out because as it, the bird goes away from me, I can't actually see this very clearly. It's in flight and it would be more blurred. Use your paintbrush when you're measuring, put it on the photograph and find the back, the body of the bird. So that would be just like here. And the green that you can see in the photograph would be here. Kind of want to put a little bit of yellow for that bit and just softly stroke the chest of the bird or the side of the bird, these feathers. Now, if you haven't got a pencil, you haven't got a pencil sketch. It's a little bit frightening thinking where you're going to put the next amount of colour, especially if you've got a white section. If you're nervous, going very, very pale with the colour, if you like it, 
then you can add stronger colour. If you don't, you can add water to lift it out. I'm quite happy with that, but I'm going to connect it with the pink, blur it that way. And I love that, that phthalo green, it was so beautiful. My brain is going, try that. So we'll just drop a little bit of that in. And I want the pink to run into that yellow. We want to get that feeling of movement. So let's get some of these colours just running down. It's a very soft, gentle painting. Where is this wing going to go though? So here's a nice tip for you. I roughly know where my wing is going to go. It's going down from the back of the head just a little bit and then going out. You haven't got a pencil line, but you've got water. Back of the head, down a little bit, bring that water line out in the direction that you think the wing is going to go. Now, I can see that line. If I'm not happy with it, I could let that line of water dry and then I can have a second go. I'm happy with it, so I can actually put my color in. And that's a really lovely tip to think about. I'm going to go back to the quinacridone gold with a tiny bit of pink. And we're just going to go up very slightly and keep bringing this wing up. Just pop that in, just a tiny bit there. Now, it doesn't look right because the feathers of the bird don't go that way. They actually come down. So I want you to stroke the wing with your brush and bring those feathers down in the direction that they would be flying. They go out towards the end. I can just do this a little bit. Don't be tempted to put all these lines in because you can't see them. In real life, this bird is moving. So keep it very, very soft. And I'm following that line down to the back of the bird, which is about here again. Use that trick of clean water to decide where you're going to put the back of the bird. I don't like the photograph. That tail is curving and I just don't find that attractive. So I'm going to drop some clean water in here, see if I like it. And I'm possibly going to make the tail a little bit straighter. The bird could be flying up as far as I'm concerned. So I want to keep this nice, soft energy, positive work, just coming in, creating this. It's giving the bird the energy to fly forward. I really like that. That's nice. Again, I'm going to stay with the same color. We're going to use opera pink and stay there. There we go. Just one or two. Now, don't get carried away with detail because it honestly doesn't need it. We have to add the beak now, which is really interesting. I'm using a color that complements what I painted with, which was the brown and the pink. I'll just go in and find a line either side of the eye. I can just reiterate that new line that I've lost here. I will just bring this in. Bring that line, lower part of the eye, into the start of the beak. Measure and put a dot of water just out of where you think that beak is going to be. So if I take my dot of water and put it just there, it's a tiny dot. That tells me where that beak's going to be, and I feel a lot safer now drawing that beak in. One word of caution, do not touch the beak with the colour, because then your colour will fuse at the end of the beak, and it'll look as though your bird is holding a bug, and I don't particularly want to do that. It's quite a thin line. And I don't want to do a heavy line, because it could be hit by sunlight. So I'm literally going to take this colour, leave a nice gap, and then I'm going to join in to the head of the bird. So we'll just strengthen the underside of the beak to make it look a little bit wider, connecting into the bird. And that's actually where I'm going to stop. Because this is a learning exercise. This is about learning how to represent a subject. It's a colourful bird. It's in flight. And actually the wing and the tail are really lovely.